PC, what's the deal? So the hometown guy pulled it off yesterday, man. I got this prediction wrong. Um, like I said, me and this guy, we played high school sports around the same era. We graduated the same year. Uh, he was doing his thing playing football. I played basketball. But Joey Abel, man, the hometown guy, he got it done against a, a Al Heyman PBC fighter, uh, John Wesley No Fire, who I've done a predict, uh, heavyweight prospect uh, playlist. He's in my heavyweight prospect playlist. I've done a prospect watch video on him, 19-0. Uh, and 0. Um, He got beat, man. He couldn't, he could not get out the way of those left hands by Joey Abel. And the reason I was picking No Fire to win this fight was, you know, he's the prospect 19 and 0 coming in on the roll, um, the height advantage. But when you look at their reach, Abel has a one inch uh, reach on him. Wesley, No Fire, you know, the taller guy, rangier guy, but really not the rangier guy because Abel had the reach and he couldn't. No fire could not get out the way of those left hands. I did think that Abel was reaching in a little bit, leaning in with those left hands, and I thought he could have came over the top with right hooks, but when he started to land those left hands, and they were landing thudding. I mean, no fire was standing straight up. His corner was asking him, hey, where's the head movement? Where's the side-to-side -side movement? He just couldn't get out the way of those damn left hands. And Abel, he came in at, a, at 257, and I was like, well, Last time I saw him, he was at 235 or something like that when he fought Oscar Rivas on that, uh, I believe it was a Butte undercard, Miguel. I believe it was that undercard, but Oscar Rivas knocked him out, and that's why I thought, you know, Abel's been around for a while. He's been in there with guys like Kirbat Pulov and Fred Kendo and Tyson Fury. He's been in there with some guys, man. I just thought that, uh, you know, even Chris Ariola, and I just thought that maybe, maybe it's getting towards the end for him. And then when I looked at the weight, I was like, yeah, 257. You know, this is a damn, this is... 21 pounds more than he weighed in november but abel is a big strong guy when you looked at you know when i was looking at him he didn't look fat and out of shape that was just was so weird about everything it was like it was muscle almost but um you know you just look at his legs and his and his shoulders and his forearms he's you know he's a big strong guy man and he was landing flush on no fire he bloodied him up i know they clashed heads and abel looked like he started bleeding and he just started bloodying up no fire hitting him with the left hands he just couldn't handle the left hands, couldn't handle any really of the power shots, man. Um, like to see him come back and, you know, try to give it one more go, you know, but because he has some good trainers and he has the size, but he's going to have to move his head in his heavyweight division and know how to get out of range because he was just right in punching range. And it was like, man, how many left hands are you going to get hit by? And I was waiting for uh, Abel to come across with that right hand after he landed that straight left hand. Um, he was off balance sometime throwing it, but I think he just knew he could land it and he was getting so much on it. It just kept popping no fire's head back, even when it wasn't landing flush and just, just telltale signs. You could just tell no fire wasn't going to last. And, uh, it looked like Abel was really able to take, <laughs> able to take everything that no fire threw, you know what I mean? And, uh, he was taking it well and the power was too much. It was just evident. But as far as a hometown fight here in, uh, Minnesota, I'd like to see Joey Abel versus Aaron Green. I think that'd be a good hometown fight. Aaron Green versus Joey Abel. What y'all think about that if you know who Aaron Green is? But um, I got this prediction wrong. But I thought it would be a close fight, though. I thought it'd be a close fight. I just thought no fire would pull out the victory just because I thought he was more on an upward trend. But uh, Abel was at home, that hometown crowd, man, and just you know knowing that he does. He does have power no matter how, you know who he's lost against. One thing that he does have. And I heard George Foreman say this. It's the last thing that goes with a fighter as he ages. Is this his power? And Abel does have 32 victories and 30 KOs. So, you know, he does got some hammer, man. He, got, he does got some hammer fist on him. But uh, it was a good fight. YTBC, I'm out.